We are glad to welcome you to our channel. Kindly subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends and relations. And click on the bell icon for instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded on this channel. Rest assured that we are going to have a very exciting and inspiring discussion. Let's dive into the lesson right away. Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about simple sentences in English. I am Benjamin from English Classes Online. Let's dive into the lesson right away. First, a quick look at the lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to, one, explain the meaning of simple sentences. Two, explain the characteristics of simple sentences. And three, give copious examples of how simple sentences are used for effective English communication. Let's begin with the basic question, what is a simple sentence? A simple sentence is a sentence that consists of one independent clause. You may ask what is an independent clause? An independent clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate and can stand alone as a complete sentence. Simple sentences are the building blocks of any language, and they can be found everywhere, from literature to everyday conversations. When we speak, we use simple sentences as building blocks, all right? Whether in everyday conversations or in written works, such as novels, and so on and so forth. Let's look at characteristics of simple sentences. They contain one independent clause. You know, that's the first characteristic. Now, secondly, simple sentences tend to be short and to the point, which makes them easy to understand. You know, the, the word simple means that it is not complicated, you know, they are short, all right, and uh, easy to understand. Next, they usually have a clear subject-verb relationship, meaning that the subject and the verb are in close proximity to one another. A sentence usually expresses one complete idea, you know, so when you look at the characteristics of simple sentences, then of course you understand that, of course that is this, the, the easiest form of the sentence. If you are learning uh, the, the use of English, the first thing, you, the first type of sentence you learn how to use is the simple sentence. I am a boy. You know, Jane is a girl. Mr. Williams is a, an old man, you know. So simple sentences. Messi plays football, you know. Junior is playing outside the, the gate, you know. So simple sentences. And from these characteristics, you will understand that as an English learner, the first thing, the first type of sentence you begin to learn is the simple sentence. Now, let's look at examples of simple sentences. Uh, I ate breakfast this morning. You know, when you look at this simple sentence, you will discover some of the characteristics we talked about, you know. You, you have the subject I, and then it is the verb. Then breakfast is the object. This morning is the adjunct. 
but then we can just in the traditional grammatical uh, method we can divide the sentence into two subject and predicate subject is i eat breakfast this morning is the predicate in modern linguistics we can divide we can break them down into their various constituents uh, various uh, com components for example we can begin the analysis with the subject the subject is i then it is the verb breakfast is the object this morning is the adjunct so this sentence has the sv o a structure but one thing that we should pay attention is the subject verb combination and because it contains one verb that's one thing we should note about a simple sentence that it contains only one verb or one uh, verb phrase you know so that makes it a simple sentence because it, it is just one independent clause is the the whole of this simple sentence is one independent clause that's exactly what it is okay so another example is she walked to the store she walked to the store they played soccer in the dark you see similar structure each of them so far you can identify one verb i mean one subject one verb and then you have the rest here again one subject one verb so you can see that each of them has a similar structure another example the dog backed at the male man he smiled and waved at me well this actually i have to cancel out you can't classify this as a simple sentence because it contains uh, two verbs he smiled and waved at me you know this is a compound sentence okay so you can see from the characteristics of this that it has a different structure one it has two verbs smiled waved okay he smiled and waved at me okay then let's look at this the sun is smiling brightly this is a simple sentence because the sun is the subject okay that is the subject the verb is of course is smiling that's the verb phrase then we 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 classify both of them as the verb brightly smiling brightly okay and so this is the complement so we have svc s v c subject verb complement the sun is smiling brightly that's a simple sentence and one thing about the simple sentence is that it expresses one complete idea. Now, this expresses two ideas. Smiled is one idea. Then waved, you know, another idea. He smiled and waved at me. Another example, she laughed at the joke. She laughed at the joke, you see. That is another example of simple sentence. Now, let's look at more examples of simple sentences. He studied for his test all night. Now, why is this a simple sentence? We can see it's a simple sentence because it has 
the subject it has a single verb it has one verb you know for his test is one adjunct all night is another adjunct it may have multiple adjuncts but what actually makes a sentence is the subject verb combination and so if it has one verb it means it expresses one major idea and you know he studied for his test all night now the adjuncts are just you know used to give additional information the major information is that he studied we can put full stop and it makes complete meaning he studied when you now ask why did he study for his test when did he study all night or how long did he study all night okay so that is exactly how to identify simple sentences another example the baby cried for her bottle the baby cried for her bottle the subject is the baby cried is the verb for the bottle it is the additional information uh, provided by the adjunct for the bottle you know an adjunct of uh, you know reason you know the baby cried why did the baby cry the baby cried for the bottle she that that's the baby wanted to eat was looking for the food bottle okay so that is exactly what it is let's take another example the dogs backed loudly outside the gate the dogs backed loudly outside the gate the subject is the dogs backed is the verb then we have additional information provided by the adjunct loudly and then outside the gate now the dogs backed this is the major you know the complete idea that the sentence expresses the dogs backed that it makes a complete meaning but then additional information how did the dog the dogs back the dogs back loudly how we are outside the gate you know so these are adjuncts that provide additional information so how do i identify a simple sentence a simple sentence expresses one complete idea the idea of backing the subject is the dogs and their action is expressed by the verb backed and then these other ones loudly outside the gate are adjuncts of manner and uh, and place providing additional information to show how the dogs backed loudly and where the dogs backed outside the gates. Now, as you can see, all of these sentences only contain one independent clause and have a clear subject verb relationship. They are also short and to the point, making them easy to understand. These are the major characteristics of simple sentences that we earlier talked about now in summing up simple sentences are essential part of any language they are an essential part of any language and they can be found everywhere they are easy to understand and usually contain one independent clause remember when writing or speaking simple sentences can be a great way to convey your message clearly and effectively and this brings us to the end of today's lesson many thanks for watching today's video a big thank you to all of you out there for being part of today's episode i hope you enjoyed the video if you did kindly subscribe to this channel subscribe now as a way of giving us support for notification about 
new videos click on the bell icon you will find the bell icon click on it so that whenever a new video is uploaded you will be instantly notified if you have actually enjoyed the video like and share the video with your friends and relatives this is very important if you have any comments leave your comments below any questions any suggestions we would gladly receive them and respond promptly and positively to them see you in the next video i look forward to always see you